The hunt for the first ever approved treatment for MOGA antibody disease continues with the clinical trial with the drug Satralizumab. Satralizumab will be tested on MOG antibody disease patients to see if it reduces relapses and whether it is suitable for use as a preventative treatment. Firstly, I would like to thank Dr. Cristina Valencia Sanchez and the MOG project for reviewing the script for this video. So what is Satralizumab? Satralizumab is a humanized monoclonal antibody that targets the interleukin-6 receptor which is also referred to as the IL-6 receptor. Satralizumab's brand name is Enspring, and it is one of the three FDA-approved treatments for AQP4 positive NMOSD. FDA approval was given in August 2020, following two clinical trials that demonstrated that the treatment had success in preventing NMOSD relapses, both on its own and also when used alongside other treatments. This trial will aim to see whether the treatment can have similar results for people diagnosed with MOG antibody disease. So how does satralizumab work? Satralizumab is designed to block the action of IL-6, a protein involved in the production of antibodies. By blocking IL-6, the treatment decreases the production of antibodies against AQP4. Reducing the production of antibodies against AQP4 should prevent damage to nerve cells and reduce NMOSD relapses. IL-6 also plays a role in MOG antibody disease and it is anticipated that satralizumab may also prevent MOG antibody disease relapses too. Satralizumab is taken using a subcutaneous injection every two weeks into the belly or thigh for the first three doses. Then, going forwards, the treatment can be reduced to just one injection every four weeks. So how successful were the NMOSD clinical trials involving satralizumab? The first study involved 55 patients with AQP4 antibodies receiving immunosuppressive therapy. 92% of participants also taking satralizumab alongside their therapy were relapse-free after 4 to 8 weeks, in comparison to 60% of participants taking a placebo with their therapy. A second study involving 64 adults with AQP4 antibodies showed that 83% of patients taking satralizumab were relapse-free after 4 to 8 weeks, compared to 55% who were taking a placebo. So what is the clinical trial doing and how does it work? The satralizumab trial aims to prevent relapses in MOG antibody disease patients. This trial is a second phase 3 clinical trial for MOG antibody disease. Phase 3 is the last testing phase to see if it is safe, beneficial and effective. Half of the participants will receive satralizumab and the other half will receive a placebo which has no effect. Participants will not know whether they have taken satralizumab or the placebo treatment. However, in the open label period, all treatments will receive satralizumab. The trial will take place across multiple participating sites worldwide and aims to enrol 152 patients by the end of the study. If you're enjoying the video so far, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more MOG antibody disease videos in the future. Coming up shortly, we have the criteria required to participate in the trial, as well as the locations where the trial is taking place. Today's question of the day is, what is the biggest thing that puts you off participating in a clinical trial to test a new treatment for MOG antibody disease? Let me know what your answer is down in the comment section below, and I'll make sure to leave mine down there too. So who can take part in this clinical trial? To take part in this clinical trial, a participant must meet all criteria listed on the clinical trial webpage. It's worth mentioning that the relapse criteria is slightly more flexible than in the rosanulixizumab clinical trial. A participant must also not meet any of the exclusion criteria. So where is the clinical trial taking place? At the time of the recording, there are currently multiple sites conducting the trial across the world. What happens if a patient relapses in the trial? The trial is designed to prevent relapses, but does use a placebo arm. Participants are only allowed to have one relapse during the trial. After a relapse, 
a participant will enter the open label period and receive sotrelizumab from then on. So how long will the trial last for? The estimated primary completion date for the trial is October 2025 and the estimated study completion date is December 2027. So we can expect to hear results after both of those dates. If you want to sign up for the trial or find out more information about it, you can do so by looking at the clinical trial information page, which I'll leave down in the video description below. But this clinical trial isn't the only one trying to find a treatment for MOG antibody disease. If you're interested in other research to find an approved treatment for MOG antibody disease, then check out this video here.